Hi, my name is Jeremy Cowles, and today I'm going to be talking about the Alembic USD integration. This was work that was done by Lauren Carpenter, but I am doing the demo today. So I'll show the demo, and then I'll talk a little bit about what we saw. So here we have the Alembic Octopus, and it's being shown in the simple ABC viewer. So we have the geometry and animation as expected, and this is the unmodified Alembic Octopus. So next we'll reference this this ABC file into a USD ASCII file. Here we're pulling in the scope called octopus underscore low and we're referencing alembic octopus dot ABC. Next we'll open up this USD ASCII layer in Presto, our internal animation system. And here we can see we're getting the data coming from the alembic file along with the animation and it's being composed through USD. So this gets a little more interesting when we start using the composition features of USD, such as overrides. So in this case, we'll override the color of the octopus low shape subdiv and set it to blue. So going back into Presto, we reread all the layers, and here we have a blue octopus. Now notice that we didn't modify the Alembic archive at all. We still have the animation geometry we've simply overridden some of the data that's coming from it. We could also have overridden the points or other data. Overriding the color is just an easy, clear example to show. So the key ideas here are we're leveraging existing Alembic archives as they were produced today. We're not creating special USD Alembic archives. It's the exact data that was exported previously. Also, we're preser preserving the lazy loading nature of Alembic. So data isn't being pulled all into memory entirely, it's simply being pulled out sparsely as it would in Alembic natively. Also, once in USD, this data composes as expected as if it were a native USD layer. In fact, there is no true native USD layer. USD is plugin based, so just as we built our existing file formats, we built a plugin for Alembic, we could build plugins for say OBJ files, etc. All the existing composition rules still apply. So again, this was work done by Lauren Carpenter. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on the USD Interest Google group. Thanks for watching.